Welcome to the deep dive. Today we're tackling something um, really fundamental to how our digital world actually clicks together. Mm. How your devices automatically get their addresses on a network. We're diving into DHCP, the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Yeah, and specifically we're looking at this key process inside DHCP uh, called DORA. It's a four-step thing that gets your devices online, usually without you lifting a finger. Right. So our goal today, our mission, if you like, is to unpack, door, discover, offer, request, acknowledge, and, you know, really get how the devices and servers talk during this. Exactly. Think of it like the secret handshake your phone does to get on the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And understanding this is, well, it's super useful if you're learning about networks. It gives you real insight. Absolutely. Okay, so let's maybe start with the overview. DORA, it's a four-stage process. That's right. It's the sequence, a device, the client, uses to get its network setup details, mostly the IP address from a DHCP server. And those four stages again? Discover, offer, request, and acknowledge. That exchange makes it all automatic. Okay, let's start at square one. Discover, what actually happens when, say, my laptop boots up and needs an IP? So the device wakes up, joins the network, realizes, hey, I don't have an IP address. It needs to find a DHCP server. Right. So its first move is to shout out, basically. It sends a DHCP discover message. Shouts out. How does it do that if it doesn't know where the server is? Ah, that's the clever bit. Ah. It uses a broadcast. Think of it like yelling in a crowded room, hoping the right person hears you. Okay, like an announcement to everyone listening. Exactly. So at the network layer, because the client has no IP, its source address is 0.0.0.0. Uh, zeros. Makes sense. And the destination is 255.255.255.255. That's the broadcast address for the network. Gotcha. Then down at the data link layer, the source AMASI address is the client's own unique hardware address. You know, the one burned into the network card. Mm -hmm. And the destination AMASI address. Also a broadcast. All Fs. F F F F F F F F F F. So truly sending it everywhere on the local network. Pretty much. Every device on that specific network segment will see that discover message pop up. Okay, so the call goes out. Who answers? This must be the offer part, right? Precisely. Any DHCP server on that network that hears the discover can reply. And it replies with a DHCP offer message. And what's in that offer? Well, it's basically the server saying, hey, I heard you. How about you use this IP address? It includes the proposed IP, maybe some other details like the gateway address, DNS servers, and importantly, the lease duration. Lease duration, like how long it can keep the IP. Exactly. It's not usually permanent. The server says you can use this address for, say, 24 hours or whatever the configured time is. Okay, no, wait. If the client still doesn't have an IP, how does the server send this offer back just to that specific client? It heard a broadcast. Good question. This is where it gets a bit nuanced between the network